ports, we had solar calculators that we that were continually wanting to develop more because solar is something that's coming into play more and more in Iowa uh, in addition to wind. And so we want to provide those kinds of resources for our islands as well. Some other things we've been doing are sponsoring uh, uh, outreach and youth and energy scholarships over the last 20 years. And so some things like for Iowa State University, U of I, UNI, um, uh, energy poster contest, solar decathlon. Uh, we were one of the sponsors for the solar decathlon home at Iowa State, which was an interdisciplinary team that designed an off-the-grid home, designed and built an off-the-grid small home, uh, shipped it to Washington, D.C., along with several other universities from around the world. And they built these homes on the mall, and then they judged them, and had judges come in and, and, and uh, critique them on different categories. And Iowa State, I think, placed 12th overall, I think, as a first-year uh, effort for that uh, uh, university. Another thing that's been wildly successful is the home series that we developed a few years ago. It's uh, a four-part series for, for improving uh, your home. One of our charges as a center is to help Iowans assess technologies. And so uh, getting to people where they live uh, is an important thing about improving their efficiency at home. So this is something you can go online and get, or you can call us and we can mail you hard copies of it as well. And lastly, regarding our center, uh, in 1996, the Iowa legislature uh, created the Alternative Energy Revolving Loan Program and assigned it to our center at Iowa State University to manage. And so the original fund was set up, I think, over a three-year period. About $5.9 million was placed into an account at Iowa State. And that money has been spent, and it's now the repayments are continuing to revolve and, and go off of projects for folks in Iowa on the renewable projects. The legislature last session uh, gave us another $5 million uh, out of the bonding uh, bill. And then next, or next uh, uh, fiscal year, um, the plan is for another $5 million. In this current fiscal year for the $5 million that we were given, that money is now already, the loans are either have been approved or in process for all of that $5 million for uh, mostly wind, small wind, and, and large wind projects in Iowa. And so you can see the breakdown here. Since 1996, there's been uh, some biomass projects, one hydro, nine solar, 15 small wind, 41 large wind projects, three hybrids. And a lot of the loans I've been seeing in my short tenure as the director, there have been a lot of uh, smaller turbines on farmsteads, uh, things like that, uh, that have been coming through recently. And you can see here, uh, totaling uh, uh, 1.8 million megawatt hours per year is what's been generated on that original $5 million amount of money, which is pretty impressive. So I want to just talk a little bit about, I want to try to connect some of the dots of the previous uh, uh, presenters. This is where I grew up, where this red dot is, a little town called Green, Iowa. Green with an E, but not in the county. That's the question I always get. People say, where are you from? From Green. Oh, Green County? I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I'm from uh, Northeast Iowa. And uh, what I want to talk a little bit about, it was on the, one of Jason's slides. He, he made a comment about uh, uh, small communities acting together or something like that. It was one statement he had on there. And uh, this is the town of Green, Iowa. This is Highway 14. This is the Shell Rock River. The Shell Rock River goes up to Albert Lee Lake. This, this is the source of the Shell Rock River. And these are all little farmsteads. And this 160 acres up there is my mom and dad's farmstead that they still live on where I grew up uh, until I went to school at Iowa State. And uh, I like to show this because for me, community had different meanings. For me, community was, was you know, that 160 acres but it was also in community with the other people around us in that one or two square mile area. And that was community for us. There was also uh, community in terms of our town. We'd get bused into school and so forth, play ball, all those kinds of things. Um, but there's multiple, I guess the point of this is, is for me, there's, there's multiple levels of community even within your, your town. And all of you know this because you live in rural, rural Iowa. So there's that level of community, there's this level of community. And then what I wanted to show here is over time, that, that first image was from 1930. This image, I think, is from about the 50s. And it doesn't change much. Uh, green hasn't grown. In fact, it's shrunk in terms of population. Um, they've gotten a little bit of development on the fringes um, with a tool and die company um, and 
Highway 14 then was modernized and runs uh, north through town. I think this is uh, images from like 2008 or 2009. Um, one thing you notice though is that some of the farmsteads in and around here have been torn down. Um, we've gone from four farmsteads per square mile to you know, maybe one or two per uh, square mile uh, today. There's this level of community then too. Here's Green on Highway 14. This is Highway 3 heading over to Waverly. There's Clarksville, Allison, Marble Rock, Rockford, Charles City. And this is the Avenue of the Saints. So uh, Janet talked about you know, transportation routes. Um, Charles City really struggled with white farm equipment went out of business. Uh, Charles City really struggled. And now they're starting to come back along the edges here with the transportation route going through town. Now one thing I would mention about Charles City as an example, because that's where we hung out, we'd go to the movies there and everything when I was a kid. Um, you know, they're sacrificing downtown to build along the edge. So that could be good, could be bad. Um, but what I want to go through here is a series of slides here in a minute talking about how can we think about communities and keep them thriving in multiple, multiple levels.